Hello, welcome to this Accomplished Beginners Blender tutorial number 26. In this tutorial, I will create uh, two particle systems that emits objects, just as in the Accomplished Beginners preview video. I'll delete the cube here and instead add Shift A, add a UV sphere. And I look at this from the front and I want to and press 5 to be an orthogonal view. Um, and I will rotate this Rx 90 degrees and uh, press 7 to look at it from the top and tab to get into uh, edit mode. Then I'll turn on this the selector that allows me to select both the hidden and the visible vertices. Choose face mode, A to deselect everything, and then B, box select, and select half of this. And then press P to separate that. Now we have two half spheres, semi spheres, and I'll just keep them like this. This one. Press A to deselect everything and uh, I take the box selector and uh, select this. And I go to vertex groups and I add something I, uh, I call this emitter. And I do the same on this one here. Add a group that I call emitter. And before I add a particle system, I'll add a particle system to one of them and then copy that, so to speak, and then make some small changes. We'll see what the effects are. But before I do that, I will go into object mode, do a shift A and add a cube. And I'll scale that down quite a bit. Add a material to it. And all I'll do here is just change the color to a blue one. And I named, I'll name this obj, no, o one. Then I'll do Shift D and duplicate that, and I rename that to obj o two. I'll change the material on it. Add another one and uh, make that red, or I could make it orange, like this. So just delete the top material slot, like that. So now we have two differently uh, for, uh, colored objects. I'll select those and I'll do M2, which means it's going to move them to layer number two so they're not visible. And I'll start with this one, and uh, I'll add an. I activate the art particle systems tab, and I add one, and I'll go down to vertex groups here, and I'll choose emitter. And I'll also change in the render field. I want to emit object one. Then I go over to this one here, this other object, add a particle system. It also has this it has the same vertex group or it's just named the same. And we want to emit this 
So here I have always a problem finding uh, the render. Okay, there's a render and the uh, oh, object. And we want to duplicate object two. I think I made a mistake on this one here. It's not, we don't have that parent. That's not what I wanted. It's, um, we want the object, object one. So let's look at this. Yeah, that seems like it's gonna work out. So now we have uh, two different particle systems emitting each one their object and one for each of these half spheres. So let's play this. And you can see what happens. It just uh, pours down because we s still have gravity. So we'll go to the field weights and turn off gravity, turn it down to zero. Do that on both of them. And we play it again. So they're emitting in the same fashion they emit from the outside. So now I want to change this. I could either do it this way, that I go in here and um, I want to turn on uh, the normal display. What I can do is select all and then do mesh normals, recalculate inside. So now they will be pointing inward. Then we'll play this, this again. Okay, I have to free the bake probably. See so our cache. Free all bakes. Start over. That's what we get. Okay, there you go. Sometimes it doesn't take immediately. Probably because I was in edit mode. And you can see how these are, are emitting from the from different sides. So we can change we can make a change here too to this one. So that that's the particle system that is on here. And uh, we'll just do this minus one here. Uh, we'll probably need to free the bag here too. Free all bags and uh, back up and play. And that way you can see how it turned the velocity in, in the other direction. So the, because it's the normal that controls the emission of the particles. So I'll just stop that free all the bags and I'll return this to to one and also we would like these objects to live a li little bit longer They're, they only have a lifetime of 50 so I'll put 250 on there so they will live for the entire duration of this it's uh, we have the start at one and the end at 250 so if we back up there and then play it we get this effect here. That just that one just keeps going to the end of the animation. So I'll, I'll make that change to this one too. So they are kind of the same. Okay, I need to free the bake. Okay, now they're both living 250. And I can stop it right there. 
look through the camera view and we can render that. So then you see the emitters are both visible. So let's just turn the visibility of this one off. So that's you do that in the render field. So turn off the emitter and then we render it and then you can see that the render for the yellow cubes disappeared. So these are the settings you need to have an effect to make an emitter system that emits objects. You need to have an object. You have to have an emitter, a particle system, and an object to emit. You control the direction by which vertex groups or which vertexes are part of the emission and the direction of the normal on those ver uh, faces and, and the, the normal um, the direction of the normal and size of it. So let's say we would like these yellow ones to be much faster then we can do like five and start over and uh, this is what happens. This one ejects these or emits these at, at a much higher velocity. And I think that's uh, all I need to go over in this tutorial. Uh, I hope you found it useful and that you can use your own imagination to create much more interesting uh, imagery with this. There's almost no limitation to what you can do because these objects could have particle systems on them too, like the objects that are being ejected or emitted. So it's quite interesting tool. The particle system is quite an interesting tool to work with. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and I thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye-bye.